My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You are welcome to episode number 39 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be saying bye bye to variation. Variation has been an interesting class, an interesting series. We are making use of the Flash Learner Jam app. After this episode, get the app and begin to look at the questions. If you have any issue, feel free to reach out to me. So many persons who got the app last year, they scored very, very high last two years and so on. Every year, I get a lot of testimonies of people scoring extremely high using the Flash Learner's application. This question says, P varies directly as Q and inversely as R. Mathematically, it means that P varies directly as Q and inversely as R. Inverse will be at the bottom, direct will be at the top. So what are they trying to say? When Q is 36, R is 16 and P is 27. Find the relationship between P, Q and R. Okay? From here, we know that P is equals K, Q over R. What they did here, they looked for the value of proportionality constant and they substituted the value of proportionality constant here while every other thing remains the same. The good news about this question is that they already gave us the values we need to find K. We are told that Q is 36, R is 16, P is 27. If that is correct, it means that P 27 is equals K times Q 36 over R 16. Cross multiplying, 27 times 16 is equals 36 K. K will therefore be dividing both sides by 36. 27 times 16 over 36. This will give you 12. The value of K is 12. You come back to this place. P is equals K, 12. 12 Q over R. So the relationship between P, Q and R is 12 Q over R. Option A is the correct option. If P varies inversely as the Q of Q, P varies inversely as the cube of Q, they did not say cube root, they said Q. And Q varies directly as the square of R. Now P varies inversely as the cube of Q. Now this Q now, Q varies directly as the square of R. Square, not square root. What is the relationship between P and R? There is P here and there is R here. So what is the relationship between this guy? P is equals K over Q raised to the power of 3. And for the second part, Q is equals K R squared. Let's put the value of Q in this place. That will simply give us P is equals K over Q is K R squared. So K R squared raised to the power of 3. You raise to the power of 3. This will simply be P is equals K over K raised to the power of 3, R raised to the power of 6. P is equals K over K over 3, R raised to the power of 6. Now, we don't really care about every other thing. What we are concerned about is the relationship between P and R. If you look at this, P is inversely proportional 
to arrow raised to the power of 6. P varies inversely as arrow raised to the power of 6. That is the relationship between them. The cost of dinner for a group of students is partly constant and partly varies directly as the number of students. When you hear partly constant, this is partial variation, like I explained earlier. So, we are dealing with cost of dinner and the number of students. So, let's score cost C and the number of students N. The cost is partly constant. So, C is equals K. And the same cost partly varies directly as the number of students. So, this cost varies directly as the number of students. And from here, cost is equals K N. You see, here we have K, here we have K. Let us separate the K by calling this k1 and k2 with all these we form an equation it is cost that is partly constant and it is the same cost that varies directly as the number of students combining here and here you have c is equals k1 plus k2 n this is the equation we are told that if the cost is 74 why the number of students is 20 the first case is 74 naira 20. The second case is 96 naira and 96 naira when the number of students is 30. So 96 and 30. Variation will always be variation comparing quantities. Now it says find the cost when there are 15 students. This time around we are looking for cost. And the number of students is equals 15. Ladies and gentlemen, partial variation will always lead to simultaneous equation. No two ways about it. Anytime you see partial variation, after doing something like this, <laughs> you have to do another one. C is equals K1 plus K2N. You must do it. That is variation, partial variation for you. The first equation, you put the first data. The second equation, you put the second data. So, that will be... We have cost here. Cost is 74. So, from the first equation, 74 is equals K1 plus... Number of students is 20. So, we can say 20 K2. Let's go this equation 1. For the second part, 96 is equals k1 plus 30 k2 solving this simultaneously k1 will give you 30 and k2 will give you 11 over 5 if this is so we are looking for cost when number of students is 15 you pick out any of the equations so c is equals k1 that is 30 plus k2 11 over 5 times the number of students 15 times 15 if sub correctly this should give you 63 so the cost is 63 and this is how you answer questions under partial duration ladies and gentlemen this results to the end of this class on the end of variation. I hope you like this. Get your flash general jam app, begin to play with questions, and I wish you success. See you in the next episode where we shall be introducing inequality.